Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to stop sharing files and folders in OneDrive. We're here in our OneDrive, and if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you have a file that's shared or a folder that's shared, and you just don't want to share it anymore, you, you don't want other people to have access to it, it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and take away that access. We're going to select the Elevator Skills History file, and we're going to come over here to our ellipses, and we're going to go to Manage Access. Now, once that panel opens up over here on the right, you'll see we have a big button here, a big link for Stop Sharing. We're going to click there, and it says this will delete all the links giving access to the item and remove all people with direct access except for owners. We're going to click Stop Sharing. And we'll take a look here at our ellipses. Now, it's a little misleading. We're going to go here, and we still see that it's shared with Olivia and Pierce, but it truly isn't. And we're going to go over to Pierce's OneDrive just so I can show you. But when I come down here, you'll see it no longer says shared in the sharing column. It just says private. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look at Pierce's OneDrive. Bear with me while I switch over. All right, we are here in the OneDrive of Pierce Boyd. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at his shared tab. We're going to look at shared with me, and we still see the Elevator Skills History PowerPoint presentation. But watch what happens when Pierce tries to open it up. We're going to click, and we see, sorry, you don't have access. So we know that what we did worked. When Gary went ahead and stopped sharing that file, it took away access that everybody else had. Now, the interesting thing about this is, look down here, you can send a message and request that you get access back. And that will send an email to Gary, and he can decide whether or not he wants to give Pierce that access back. Now, let's go ahead and let's get back to Gary's OneDrive, and we'll take a look at stopping sharing on folders. It's a little bit different. All right, now we're back in the OneDrive of Gary Colson. Let's take a look at stopping the sharing of a folder. We're going to select the new policy documents. We'll go to our ellipses and click on manage access. Now, remember I told you it's a little bit different for a folder. You don't see the link here for stop sharing. What we need to do is go to the ellipses here for more options. Click there, and now you see the little X here. Notice when I hover over it, it says remove link. If I click that, are you sure you wanted to delete this link? This will affect everyone who uses this link. The link will not work for anyone anymore. This is effectively going to stop everybody's ability to use this folder, to share anything in this folder. We're going to go ahead and click delete link. We'll close our panel and we might have to refresh. Yeah, and now it says private. It no longer says shared. Now we're going to go back to Pierce Boyd's OneDrive and take a look at what happens there. So hang in there with me. All right, here we are back in the OneDrive of Pierce Boyd. Let's go to the shared folder and we'll take a look at new policy documents. Let's click on that and see what happens. It's going to take a little minute here. And we see that this item might not exist or is no longer available. This item might have been deleted, expired, or you might not have permission to view it. Contact the owner of this item for more information. So we see that when Gary stopped sharing, he deleted that link. Pierce no longer had access to the folder. So now you know how to stop sharing files and folders in OneDrive. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.